Asians under attack from the Bay Area to the East Coast. Unprovoked assaults are on the rise, and tonight they show no sign of stopping. KPIX 5 reporter Andrea Nakano on the fear that's spreading through Bay Area streets and how some are turning their unease into action. Andrea? Yeah, Ken, since these attacks started happening, police have tried to step up patrols, but it just hasn't been enough. So volunteers are pitching in to help, but some are still feeling helpless. From the unprovoked attack of this 76-year-old woman in San Francisco to this man in Oakland, these acts of violence are happening over and over again. Something had to be done. we got to do something. According to Stop AAPI Hate, roughly 3,800 anti-Asian incidents occurred in the last year. 68% of those attacks have involved women. I've seen too many stories on, on media, and it hit really close to home this time. So Sandy joined Asians with Attitude to patrol the streets of Chinatown in Oakland. A lot of them here, they don't have a voice. Uh, they don't know how to voice. So I feel like we are the voice, and we're... we're had enough of this violence. That violence has taken an emotional toll on the Asian community, and experts say this is the time to speak up and set an example for the next generation. Stereotype that Asians are, you know, more passive or kind of don't speak up as much. And so I think it's so important as parents to model for our children assertiveness in speaking up against these things. According to Dr. Mari Kurahashi with Stanford Children's Health, racist acts, mocking accents, and physical features have been largely ignored even among many Asians. She says people have to reflect on our individual views of racism, but come together to fight it. And people who are committing these horrible uh, racist acts towards Asians see all of us as kind of the same and, and we're stronger together. Now we have an update for you on that 76-year-old woman that was attacked in San Francisco yesterday. Her grandson says that she is slightly better physically, but just not emotionally. Xiao Zhen She still cannot open her left eye because of all of the swelling. Ken? Yeah. Andrea, thank you for that.